No, 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 no. <sighs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, done, done. Hello everyone and welcome to the MGN channel. I'm your host Cornish. Today we're going to be talking about a particular horror game that has blown my mind almost at the same time as in Sound Mind. And it is such a cool game and it's, it's, it's under everyone's nose. I've yet to see any amazing review on this. This will probably be the first one, I guess. So let's talk about Mirror Layers. So this is Mirror Layers. To anyone who's looking for a decent horror game, I'm very surprised as this game is hiding under everyone's nose. Mirror Layers is a first person social horror game cooperative with players through a social media in the game to solve the challenging puzzles, explore and collaborate to unreveal the mystery behind Apartment 12. The more you go deeper, the more brutal it gets. The fact that this game was created by the mastermind behind the I'm Scared from the game Jolt and it came out on the Steam, to which I'm Scared was a really good game many years ago. There are so many creative puzzles and a lot of creepy atmospheres. Also the monster, <laughs> panic mode all the way up. Let's give this warning now. So yeah, the, I've got to say, let's start off with the gameplay, shall we? This has a unique horror mechanics that I've never experienced in a horror game. You enter an apartment and there's nothing but a plain room. But when you get into the mirror world, the apartment gets to 1 to 10 of horror mode. When you enter the apartment, it's nothing, just a plain room, quiet, just like normal apartment. But when you get into the mirror world, the apartment itself, woo! That's when you gotta worry about every detail in the game. Now, as well as I've learned in this uh, horror game, the monsters in the mirror will chase you till you die? And he's really horrifying. I don't know why, but for me, he put me in so many places in each room I've never experienced. Until he leaves, you're stuck in the mirror world, as you can't go back when he's walking about. But the best option, I gotta say, is pretty much hide. There is a lot of creepy things in this game, not just the monster, but the atmosphere itself. Uh, there's a point where something scared me, and I just got a jump scare of a lifetime when a big guy with meat and claws come in at me. But there is also another feature in these scary games. Trust me, there was one where I literally flew off my chair, and it's and in the Cornish Games nights, I gotta say, it's rare to get me off these uh, chairs, but when it does, then you know Things are good <laughs> for a horror game, of course. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, done, done. I'm done with this. I'm Tusty sideways in the fucking Tusty. Fucking... Okay. <sighs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm sorry, guys. I, I think I'm done. If your console is outdated and you want to receive a new firmware to your home, press 1. For the firmware installation procedure, press 2. For our game catalog, press 3. If you want to know how I was killed, press 4. I'm in the fridge. Do not open it. 
I'm off, dude. Get off skis, boys. I am. <laughs> She's in the fridge. She's in the. F so, the next segment. The puzzles. Now, there is lots to talk about here, guys. There are many, many crazy unique puzzles in different ways that you would never see before. Uh, from the in-game computer, the little social media to chat to other players, to the creative puzzles outside the box of the um, mirror world. Now, in the wor normal world, there is a computer in one of the rooms, and that will help you, as there is a social media Thing in the computer where you actually talk to real players that are in the same position as you the people you can talk to in there can offer you hints and help if anyone gets stuck but the more you go deeper in the game and unveil the story the more new rooms that open up another cool thing with the puzzles there is a, a thing with this computer there's a mirror next to it and whatever items you put in there it will go into the computer as an example uh, I started the game off and I had a key on the table and then I looked next to me and these curtains with a padlock but with a different shape and color uh, but my key was completely different from that I knew it was the key for it but not the right shape so I had to go on that little social media computer put my key down and it for some reason that key goes into the computer where you can attach a file in the social media so people can grab that key if their lock is the exact same symbol as the key you've got. And as well, you yourself will need to also find a key with the same symbol as the padlock you saw. So little bits like that is pretty cool. There are also like other puzzles later with that computer where if you find an item and it looks really messed up or probably broken, um, you have to put it into the, com uh, the mirror. So it will go into the computer, but then you have to right click on that file and then you have to change stuff in the text so it could uh say for instance you've got two cds and it's snapped and you've got one bit which um one bit in the text files it will say that you know like loads of random words but you know what it might say but it's only half and half of it and then you'll need to copy and paste to the other half of the C uh, broken cd and then um save it and then it becomes a full um, full CD of its own. Alright, so because we found one of the pieces other people in the world in our in our in real life Have found pieces for a different part so we can now share our part I think that might be a good idea to do that So we'll drop that in there ah act Act and that's why I'm sure of it divine message permitted this place and slowly they will permit my very own soul so we've got three CD3 too. On that day, we tried to make contact. Nobody knows if I'm... Okay. Hang on. i got to get this right, because if there's any spelling mistakes, I won't be able to... But that's good, mate. Nicely done, dude. Um, yeah, so... earlier uh, Because I may... Ah... We got it. Nice. Where are we gonna? Where do we put this to? That's absolutely nuts. And um, there are many, many more puzzles. In fact, I believe uh, with with these puzzles, I spent about an hour and a half on one puzzle uh, on my current live stream, and it was crazy, dude. Like, wow. Once it was the satisfying. The satisfaction once you complete a puzzle is is really good, but also very, very, very cautious and a bit scary at times because once you pass that, you don't know what's going to happen next, you know? With that being said, let me just give you a talk about the visuals. The, th the thing in the game is not honestly wowing, but it's still pretty, uh, pretty nice. The reverse world in the mirror world is a great touch. Uh, and it gives you an eyes feel when you see the mirror world, but when you go to the normal world, it's very calm and nice. The monster is creepy, and it looks like some kind of meat stack with blades that still kind of frightens you, man. With well, that being said, let's just go to the sound and audio, because do you know what makes a really good horror? 
a sound when you're in the mirror, and holy hell was I on hedge on time. Because I kept hearing whisperers, like whispering of some people and hearing noises, uh, worrying that the monster might come out of one of the mirrors and completely chase me, freak me out. Uh, there was lots of other cool uh, sound effects in the game as well, and uh, it's, it's pretty basic, but it's also creative. Yes! That is a beautiful work you told us. You did a fantastic part. Your heart filled my pride. Your mother. I want to answer, baby. I'm done! I'm Toasty. done! No! No! Why didn't you answer? Stop talking to me. Oh no! Oh, that sent, that sent chills down my- What happened there? Toasty! What was that? What was that? And overall, I was pretty blown away by this game. Through creative puzzle solving, to literally soiling myself every step of the way. It's a pretty long game and an enjoyable game with a story of people who was living there. Tells a great story to the end. The interacting with other players is a good touch to the game, amazing touch to the game, who are also struggling and just chatting in the game's computer. So it sort of feels like you're not alone, but there is no one there, you know? <laughs> so it, it's really like that, really. But how, but uh, the thing that gets me the most with you guys, horror fans, right? How the hell is this game not being mentioned enough? <laughs> I've yet to see a decent review on this and honestly if, if you were thinking about picking this game up I encourage you in fact I tell you to get it have your experience solve puzzles get chased get that free cut honestly this is a great game and I'm actually gonna think about replaying this to see if there's any secrets I've missed because I've, I've got a feeling there are some secrets in this game there's much more than it meets the eye on this and I've completed it but Oh man, Ivan, 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 if you're watching this man, you've got to help, like, you've got to give us a hint of where, if there's any secrets in this game, because you've just left me in a room endlessly. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, uh, please get the game, check it out for yourself, and look, just, just do it. I'm, I, I don't know how much to struggle this enough of how underrated Tufty! the game is, and... I'm pretty, pretty excited to uh, play more of his games. In fact, uh, Ivan himself, the creator of Mirror Layers, is remaking uh, I'm Scared, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. So, this is Mirror Layers. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Get them growing. And then uh, feel free to comment down and uh, tell me what you think. Oh, and one more thing. In the Steam version, there is a, there is a demo, but it's not like scary scary but it is a decent demo uh I, I would encourage you to check that out as well uh before buying that's it for me you guys take care and have a wonderful day